Tonight, a major warning about a deadly drug now on Broward County streets, and it's so powerful, it's used to, to sedate 13,000-pound elephants. CBS 4's Carrie Codd reports now on carfentanil. This is a photo of one of the deadliest drugs you've probably never heard of, carfentanil. It's a synthetic drug and an opioid like heroin, only hundreds of times more powerful, that is used to sedate elephants. A few milligrams can knock out a 700 or 800 pound elephant within minutes. Dr. Parham Eftakari of the Broward Health Medical Center says heroin is being laced with carfentanil, and they're seeing more and more overdoses filling up intensive care units. Five to six over the past week alone have had devastating health conditions. According to the Broward Medical Examiner's Office, carfentanil is suspected of killing 53 people in Broward in the past six months. 53 people. Do not take this lightly. That's Samantha Gorson, a recovering heroin addict and an employee at Recovery Unplugged in Fort Lauderdale. She says she's been to at least 11 funerals of heroin addicts in the past three months. Well, whatever drug is out there, it's taken them out right away. Right away. Gorson says drugs like heroin, when they're laced with synthetic drugs like carfentanil or fentanyl, produce a quick, cheap, and significant high for addicts. It's really Russian roulette. Part of the problem, Eftakari says, is that when you buy street drugs, you have no idea what you're buying and putting into your body. Whether they tell you this is pure or not, it's always a gamble. And handling those overdose calls is always a gamble for first responders. Doctors and law enforcement agents are warning paramedics not to get too close to fentanyl or car fentanyl because if they inhale it or even get it on their skin, it can be deadly. That's one of the reasons first responders are carrying Narcan, an opiate antidote, with them. Eftakari says parents need to be aware of these synthetic drugs and educate their children about them. The medical examiner told me that they are finding baggies of drugs that they suspect are these synthetics on the people who are overdosing from them. But he told me these drugs are so dangerous to handle that they are reluctant to even test them here in their lab. In Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Happening.